Chartreux Cat vs. Russian Blue Cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? When you look at their appearance, you may see that there are similarities between these stunning cat breeds. These two cat breeds are medium-sized cats. The Chartreux typically weighs between 7 and 16 pounds and Russian Blue Cats grow to be approximately 10 inches tall and weigh 7 to 15 pounds. The Chartreux might well be silent but communicative and sometimes silly. Short playtimes interspersed with naps and meals are his idea of the perfect day. When he is not displaying his superb timing and pouncing ability, killing toys with abandon, he is an attentive and gentle companion who likes to stay near his people and observe their doings. He appreciates any attention he receives, especially if it involves scratching him beneath the chin or between the ears, but he's not demanding, content to follow you around devotedly, sleep on your bed and snuggle with you if you're not feeling well. He rarely uses his voice, preferring to direct your actions with a glance from his pumpkin-colored eyes. If need be, however, he may communicate with a small meow or chirp. Make a habit of observing him carefully and being familiar with his actions since it is unlikely that he will vocalize any discomfort or make any sound to let you know where he is. This is an adaptable cat with a middle-of-the-road personality. He's not a social butterfly, but he's not a shy wallflower, either. Expect him to watch and wait before deciding whether to greet a guest or otherwise involve himself in a situation. His calm nature makes him suited to staying home alone while you are out earning the money for his treats and toys, but he won't object to keeping company with another cat or dog. That same good nature makes him a good travel companion for an RV enthusiast or long-distance truck driver. As long as you keep his routine similar each day, he will be a happy camper. The Chartreux has a sunny, polite disposition that makes him a pleasure to live with. This is one cat who does his best to obey the rules. Always treat him kindly and patiently, and you will be rewarded with a friend for life. The Russian Blue has a reputation as a gentle, quiet cat, somewhat shy, but don't get the wrong idea. This cat may have a reserved nature, but he loves to play especially fond of retrieving, and enjoys jumping or climbing to high places where he can study people and situations at his leisure before making up his mind about whether he wants to get involved. Guests will not receive his immediate attention and may never see him unless he decides they are worthy of his notice, but toward family members, especially his favored person, he is ever loyal, following them through the house and even riding on a shoulder. The Russian Blue is a sensitive cat who doesn't like to be ignored, and will be hurt if he doesn't receive the same amount of affection he gives. Lack of attention can cause him to become anxious or fearful. While the Russian Blue loves your company, he is capable of entertaining himself during the day while you are at work. When you are at home, his subtle sense of humor and manual dexterity will never fail to entertain. Just make sure you laugh with him, not at him. He has a strong sense of self-worth and doesn't like being made fun of. This is a cat who does best in a quiet, stable environment. He doesn't like change, and it's especially important to him that meals arrive on time. Count on him to be a faithful alarm clock in the morning, not so you don't miss work but so he doesn't miss a meal. If you take the time to develop a relationship with a Russian Blue, your reward will be a deep bond with this loving cat. Both pedigreed cats and mixed breed cats have varying incidences of health problems that may be genetic in nature. Chartreux and Russian Blue are generally healthy, but the following problems have been seen in the breed. Patellar luxation can be seen in Chartreux cats. It is a hereditary dislocation of the kneecap that can range from mild to severe. Mild patellar luxation rarely causes problems. Severe cases cause lameness but can be alleviated with surgery. A Russian Blue owner's main concern will probably be this cat's hearty Russian appetite, which can turn him from sleek to stout in no time. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Cats are obligate carnivores, meaning they eat almost exclusively meat. Their diet should consist of no more than 5% carbohydrates and most of their protein should come from an animal source. It's hard to accomplish this nutritional requirement by providing only dry food as most commercially available dry food contains a lot of carbohydrates, fillers, plant protein, and other ingredients that are not natural for a cat to eat. More often than not, the bag will claim that the dry food is well balanced and provides complete nutrition, but in reality, nothing could be further from the truth. Another important consideration is your cat's water intake. Cats in the wild get most of their hydration from their diet, not by actually drinking water as most people think. Canned cat food is about 70-80% to 80 water, while dry food is only about 10% water. Although you can make up some of the water loss by providing a bowl or fountain of water, it's still not usually enough to cover the difference. 
If your cat is healthy and doesn't have special dietary requirements, then mainly wet food with dry food being supplementary and raw food being optional will likely be fine. Focus on quality as well. It's worth paying a little extra for food that has been highly rated as opposed to just buying the bargain brand at the local grocery store. Unless your cat has an exceptional ability to self-regulate its eating, it's not a good idea to leave out unlimited food all day, especially dry food. It's okay to leave dry or wet food out all day if you use measured portions that make sense for your cat's weight and activity level. The chartreuse short, thick coat is easy to care for with weekly brushing. The coat sheds in the spring and may require extra brushing during that time. A bath is rarely necessary. If your chartreuse does require a bath, remember that it can take time to get the water repellent coat wet enough for bathing. The Russian Blues Dense Coat should be combed twice a week to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Brush their teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim their nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. It's a good idea to keep them as an indoor only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors. Chartreux and Russian Blues who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The tolerant and gentle Chartreux fits nicely in a home with children. He is more likely to walk away than to scratch if he doesn't like the way he is being handled. Parents with young children should always supervise interactions to make sure the cat isn't mistreated. He is happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. Russian Blues have a tolerant nature toward children who treat them kindly and respectfully. They will even put up with the clumsy pats given by toddlers as if they recognize that no harm is meant, and if necessary they will walk away or climb out of reach to escape being bonked on the head. That said, the patient and gentle Russian Blue should always be protected from rough treatment, so always supervise very young children when they want to pet the cat. The Russian Blue is also accepting of other animals, including dogs, as long as they aren't chased or menaced by them. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.